Hey guys, welcome back to The Gamer Play, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy XIII for the PS3, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, here is Snow, one of the Rebels. He's looking very badass, and it looks like he wants to kick some ass. Calm down, buddy. First, let's pick up that chest, man. Look at these things. Funny little round spear chests. We didn't do anything wrong. Didn't do anything wrong. Something interesting I'm uh, I'm starting to notice is you don't really have to hit the X button. It seems, at least right now, for the moment, to talk to people. You kind of just walk by them. Some of them seem to say things. It's over. It's all over. I don't want to die. It's actually kind of interesting. It's die anyway. so, like right now I'm hitting the X button. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. And if you walk back to the people who you're trying to talk to, they kind of repeat the uh, the dialogue. That's kind of interesting. But you know what? I gotta say, it's gonna take me a little getting used to. I'm used to hitting that X button. Looks like they all don't talk, though. Nope. How you doing, kids? What's this? This is a safe spot. Let's do some shopping here at the Unicorn Mart. Welcome to the Unicorn Mart. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Buy potions. Many, many. And we can select how many we want. How much money do I have? Not a lot of money. I don't really need any anyway. I got plenty. Thank you for shopping at the Unicorn Mart, sir. <laughs> Said it before, we need these things in real life. Like on street corners. Pick up your supplies. Pretty easy. Be right next to the prostitutes. Then take a nap. Really? Can I? Sure. And when we're taking a dirt nap, you can save them all. No, oh, that's even worse. <sighs> no dirt naps today. We're all in this together. Our enemies, the Cocoon Sanctum. The dreaded Psycom, no less. <laughs> What's the dread? Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. They've got nothing on Nora. Well, we are the heroes, after all. <sighs> Let's prove it! Yeah! yeah. Hoorah! These guys gonna be joining me? Sanctum's gonna pay for this. Looks like I got some allies. Bring it on! <laughs> Now, it's interesting, in this game, there's actually ways to uh, start preemptive attacks. You have to sneak up on your opponent, at, it seems. That'll be interesting. What's that, a bear on the back of that guy's jacket? Let's try to sneak up on that guy. I feel like James Bond. No, I, I don't think I'm going to be sneak up, sneaking up on these guys. They're kind of looking right at me with their crazy yellowish eyes. Well, let's do it then! Hoo-ah! Youch! Hand grenade! I like that. So far, I think I've gotten five stars for every battle. That's probably going to change. With a lot of these new PlayStation, Xbox, Wii-type games, they really like that whole star rating system, you know? It's a real new type of idea. The whole stars, ratings, trophies. Ah, uh, 
<laughs> no more. <sighs> there are soldiers everywhere. <laughs> Yo, boss. What's the plan? Waka? Charge in, guns blazing. Hey, that's not a plan. Real heroes don't need plans. Waka on steroids? That's a lot of dogs! Check out our abilities here. Hand grenade. We'll probably be teaching more about our abilities and how to use things like that. But right now I think I'm picking things up pretty nicely. Of course, there's not a lot to pick up. What is that up there? Can I get up there? What is that? It looks important. I guess not. What do you guys think? Huh? Get out of the way. Same plan as always. Hit him hard, and hit him again. So far it doesn't really seem like I have to pay too much attention. Ooh, he's staggered. I don't have to pay too much attention about my allies or myself here. But usually in video games, you know, when you start off, they kind of try and make things a little easy for you. To make sure, you know, to get the gist of the gameplay and how to work every kink out. Hmm. A lot of weird technology around here. Don't you kids go follow behind now? Let's talk a, a little bit about the intros of these Final Fantasy games. Usually, this? usually in Final Fantasy games, the, the start of them, you always start out like a, a crazy action sequence, you know? They pretty much throw you right into the middle of an operation, or, you know, like in this game, it looks like, you know, there's a rebellion fight, there's war. There were prisoners being transported to, like, some sort of prison, it seems. So things are pretty much crazy. The same thing happened in Final Fantasy X. You know, the whole Blitzball tournament thrown right into the battle with Sin. Everything's going on, confusion. Then all of a sudden, you're on this island. You don't know what's going on. Same thing with Final Fantasy VII. They start you off, you're going right over to the reactor, bombing it. It's a pattern they like to do. You all okay? <laughs> hey, careful with those. <laughs> Don't worry. No one's moving to Pulse today. We'll clear you a path out of here, so be ready Wait. to... Wait! Let me fight yeah, with you! You can't expect us to just sit here! <laughs> Could help. Yep. Please, let us help! <laughs> Okay then. Volunteers front and center. Here, take Thanks. this one. This one. Here you go. And one for you. Count go me for in. It. Here's yours. Take care now. Mom? <laughs> Don't worry. Huh? So I just Hold it yeah, steady. Here. Yeah, feels good. Yeah, uh, nice. Can you show me again? Uh, you got that's it. That's how it works. <sighs> you sure? Yeah. Moms are tough. <laughs> right. It's the last one, boss. 
All right, last one. Somebody take it. Uh, yeah. Push comes to shove. Keep him safe. First impression of snow? All top. <clears throat> All right, lay low and you'll be fine. We'll clear out the area. We're going home together! Come on! Everybody up! Right! New recruits! On me! Come on. Time to go, kiddo. <laughs> Kid, your mom's a pussy. Er, you're the pussy, actually. We're not losing the Psycom, you hear me? This'll be a piece of cake. You believe that, kid? I'd be ashamed. Stay sharp. I don't want to make their job any easier. There are a lot of save points around here, don't you think? And once again, at the Unicorn Mart, there's probably just potions and Phoenix Downs. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in hell. Yeah, oh, that could have started a preemptive attack. Nah. Kind of turned around on me there. I think when you start a preemptive attack, you're, uh... Something about a power meter being fully charged, and, uh... Your enemies are automatically staggered, something like that. I am kicking their ass pretty easily, though. because I got a lot of health. Let's look at my health. Lebro, back us up. What's up, pooches? We'll probably learn more about those symbols, too. He's staggering. I'm already liking the different types of enemies I'm encountering in this game. I always like to talk about, you know, how these guys look and how weird they can be. Yeah, the Final Fantasy enemies. I like these pooches, man. I want one of these dogs. All right. Let's shake things up a little. Got it. Mobilize beta force. Put down the resistance. Holy hell. That's a big pooch. Heroes don't run from fights. There's nothing we can't do! Woof! Hey now! It's not happy stuff. So Final Fantasy 13 is the first Final Fantasy game of the series released on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, all the newer generation consoles. Usually when uh, the first game comes out on a console, it, you know, a couple years later, the graphics look obsolete, man. You know, take Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 1, for instance, and then look to Final Fantasy IX. The same thing can be said for, you know, Final Fantasy X came out, well, look at Final Fantasy XII. So when the next couple Final Fantasies come out for these next-gen systems, this could look obsolete, which is pretty crazy, considering how awesome this looks right now. But you can still see the Final Fantasy X, II, and XII influence. 
Holy crap! I was in mid-air there, did you see that? How tough are moms? That's a shame. Would you like to save your progress? Why not? You can check out how I save. So we got our save data number one here. New save data. So while I'm watching those uh, those scenes and, and the, the talking and the dialogue, I, I'm looking, I, I really like to look at the characters' mouths and see how they match up. And they do a pretty good job. It's not absolutely total perfection but hey these games aren't originally released here in the uh, in the states for us they're released in Japan first but it's pretty good very improved it's an out not massacre most people won't even live long enough to die on Pulse. That was the idea. What? Sanctum logic. They conjured up the purge to eliminate a threat. I mean, why carry the danger all the way to Pulse? Why not just stamp it out here? Execution, masquerading as exile. That's all the Purge ever was. <sighs> Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? And you, you knew this was gonna happen? The Purge was Psycom. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. Psycom, Guardian Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? 
Pulse Foul C and their Lassie are enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. How about you? Huh? Or to say shoot, you pull the trigger? Fine. Forget I asked. I don't know what that is, but I like it. Let's kick its ass. I gotta say, I don't really know this whole, uh, you know, empire and their organization, but that's a pretty clever idea. Instead of transporting all those people to, like, the headquarters or whatever, where they could cause some sort of problem and fuck shit up, you know, why not just, you know, take them all out here? Accident my ass. We better recover. Hurry up. There you go. Wonder if that Chocobo is gonna come out of his hair and help us in battle. Awesome. Give me something good. Give me a spoil. Ah, come on. It's too much, isn't it? <laughs> Face it later. Uh. Ciao! <laughs> hey, wait! <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. You said it made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? But really, I was afraid. I was always afraid. How do you figure that Pulse Falsy is different from the Sanctums? Mm. All things being equal, I just as soon keep one. Time to jump. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey! Hey! Hang on! can do it, so can we. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God.
It was your pet. When does he take the time to feed that thing? Waka! Come on, uh, come on! Uh. What about the others? They didn't die. They couldn't have died. Of course not. Hey, get a grip, man! What's wrong with you? Get him home. Get who home? Toss me that. Catch. What are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. <laughs> She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride-to-be? Isn't it about time you picked her up? Yeah. <laughs> There's our ride. <laughs> now you're talking. What happened to that other chick? Got a little more battling to do. Yeah, what happened to that uh, other woman who was with us? Snow, could you do me a favor, buddy? Could you get the hair out of the middle of your eyes? That's just, without a doubt, ridiculous. Get it out of the way, man. It's like coming down your nose. I hope everyone's all right. Chest. Stand in there ain't gonna stop us. Power circle. Let's go to the inventory. Let's check out a couple things here. I haven't really picked anything up, it looks like. Maybe I missed something, who the hell knows. We got our guns. Wait a minute. Here we go. Upgrade. You know, I kind of wish it displayed it when I was highlighting it right here. So, you know, in case you forget, something's there. But no, you gotta go there. Power circle. Look to the left there. 32 to 40. Drops my magic, but hey, fuck that. Let's equip that. I can't select this guy. Inventory again here. There's our power circle. Look at this thing. Level 1. Components, key items. Oh, I'm sure we're gonna get into that more as this progresses. Let's get back to the battle here. Hey, whoopsie! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hey, hey! Damn it. Where's he going? So these guys kind of look right out of G.I. Joe with their hovering jetpacks. Look at that thing. Reminds me of a Cobra Trouble Bubble. Who remembers those? Take it easy there, guy. There you go. I don't see snow dishing out a lot of, uh, damage to certain enemies. Especially when they have, like, metal shields. Hoo ah Okie dokie. As far as battle themes go, this one isn't that bad. 
Man, he is taking off. Wait up! Let's look at the scenery here. You gotta stop and enjoy these things. Holy good god. You know, usually in the beginning of Final Fantasy games, you know, you, you don't know about the world around these characters. You don't know what's going on, and you just kind of, you know, you want to get through that main first battle so you can kind of explore, you know, the rest of the world. I want to see the sun, really. I feel enclosed. It was kind of the beginning. They did that for the longest time in Final Fantasy VII. It drove me crazy being kind of trapped in Midgar, not really knowing anything that's going on around that city. You just kind of want to escape it, really. So you can walk and explore wherever the hell you Don't want. Go rushing in on your own. Yeah, man. There's a chest here. Should I even call? I'm gonna call them pods. Let's call them pods. Here's a pod, a floating pod. Here's some stairs. So what's the good word? Huh? <laughs> Here they are. I want every weapon ready to fire. Stay sharp. All right, on my go. Right. Go! And this really reminds me of the beginning of Final Fantasy X. And Xanarkin walking around uh, those that city of destruction on those long pathways. Even the battle themes and the and the music kind of reminds me of it almost. And I have a feeling that this place, this section, this little part here, whatever it is, it's not gonna be standing for too much longer. A large portion of it's already destroyed anyway. We're at the end of the road here. Making me nervous. Examine. That's a sad sound. Where's the soul? <sighs> okay. Hey, Godot. Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? <laughs> Something on your mind? You got plenty of time for thinking on the way, hero. <laughs> What's that guy's story? Yeah. <laughs> Pointing a gun in my face. care about kids favor for a friend okay hey snow he made it hey yo <laughs> so hey. you really managed to use that thing <laughs> i think i'm done you're done when we are Ow, what's it? <laughs> that's the one <sighs> didn't you have something to tell him yeah all right, then. But... I... I'll go with you. What? Oh, you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone's safe? <laughs> the, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora! Nora. <sighs> I meant the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All accounted for. 
Okay. Let's keep it that way, all right? Come on. I'll swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. Say hi to the missus for me. <laughs> you go skirt chasing, I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, <laughs> lover boy? Yeah, well, don't worry, none of you are invited. We're still going. Hey, are you serious? What about me? Catch you later. Had your chance. Oh. That kid pisses me off. Just gonna say that right now. First impression. Wait. And now I get to control him. Oh, that's fucking great. But you know what? I see a save spot right here, guys. I think it's probably appropriate. I end this part. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for The Gamer Play. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.